Hello everyone, I'm Niang Chanong from Beijing University of Post and Telecommunications. I'm proud to introduce you to our work at 2024 SM Web Conference, calibrating the ground neural networks from a data-centric perspective. First, I would like to introduce the motivation of this article. The existing calibration methods focus on improving GN models. Recent work has shown that the post hoc Methods such as temperature scaling based calibration can achieve a better trade off between accuracy and calibration. Through evaluating the expected calibration error, ECE, on core and photo data sets with five different genes, we find that the ECEs on core are always larger than those on photo, indicating that the calibration performance depends more on the data sets instead of gene model. Inspired by this phenomenon, we innovatively propose to calibrate the genes from a data-centric perspective. Can we modify the graph data instead of a better calibration performance without losing accuracy? To support the data-centric motivation, we further conduct data observations by analyzing the impacts of decisive and homophilic edges on, on calibration performance. By simply assigning larger weights to decisive or homophilic edges in the adjacency matrix, we find that the calibration performance can be improved without a significant drop in classification accuracy, showing the potential of data-centric calibration. Inspired by the observations, we propose data-centric graph calibration DCGC with two edge weighting models to adjust the input graph. For with learning of decisive edges, we parameterize the adjacency matrix and enable the prediction loss to back propagate to uh, edge weights. In this way, the edge weights can automatically fit the needs of label prediction and the critical edges will be emphasized. For with the computation of homophilic edges, we quantify the homophilia of each edge by predicting the label distributions and adaptively assign larger weights to edges with stronger homophily. Experiments on eight benchmark datasets show that the proposed DCGC can achieve SOTA calibration performance with 36.4% average relative improvement of ECE. I hope our work will be helpful. Thank you.